Well, I've been asked a few times about it, so I thought, why not? Let's make a video about it. Um, I've stepped out the house this evening. Um, I'm not taking photographs for, for a change. I'm actually shooting video. Just five minute bike ride from my house. There's a little area that I go to to take my uh, macro photography. And I took a photograph about a month ago of what is called a blue banded bee. Now, if you don't know what a blue banded bee is, remember this photo? Okay, well, I've noticed that they, these guys, and I bumped into them, always on the same vine. So I've come back tonight just to explain a little bit more about what they actually are. Now, blue banded bees, are, what you'll notice is that they hang out in colonies. Now, this isn't a complete colony, this is only males. It's only the male that does this uh, behaviour at night time. The females will actually burrow into soft sand or mud, um, but they won't... They won't um, they won't hang out like this, hang out. Um, so it's just the males. Blue banded bees are native to Australia, but within the genus of that family, there are about 250 different variations that, that you can find throughout the different regions of Asia. Now I've seen these guys a few times and they're just so incredibly coloured. If you just have a look at the abdomen, you can see just the really nice kind of electric blue that you've got there. Um, and then that goes up into their thick golden uh, hairs that cover the main part of their torso. Uh, and then the eyes, the astonishing green eyes. Um, now, one thing that you'll notice with these guys, because they're sleeping at night time, is what they actually do is they'll use their mandibles, which are the lower parts of their jaws, and they'll use those to attach themselves to this vine. Um, and some of these guys, I mean, some of them are holding on with arms and legs as well, um, but some of them, they've only got a hold of that vine by their mandibles, and they'll spend all night like that. So it's quite, uh, quite a unique behaviour in bees, I think. Um, also, one thing with these guys, they've got another little behaviour trait, is when they actually go uh, into a flower and look for pollen, what they'll actually do is, rather than just go in and sniff about and see what pollen they can get um, by using their, their um, mouths, mandibles, uh, whatever, um, is they will actually hold on with their mandibles and they'll give a really, really aggressive shake. And what that does is it releases or it loosens any pollens that wouldn't normally um, separate if they just went in there and made contact. Um, it makes those pollens that are just about ready but not quite good enough to, to let go, that it'll make them let go and they'll just get more bang for their buck as it were. Um, but that is the blue banded bee. Um, there was quite a good response to the image, so there you go. There is the animal. How awesome is that? I'm going to go continue my little walk, catch up with my wild shorts again in the near future. There'll be another uh, episode, and uh, it will be something, I think, from within this little green oasis close to my home uh, that I will introduce you to. So, um, without further ado, thanks very much, guys.